Well, how about y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be moving the goats. Uh, all these does and steer goats are going to be going to our front pasture and starting the rotation around those several pastures that's up there. Uh, they've been in this pasture right here for a week. Yesterday, uh, yesterday morning, I moved them into this little pen that we had uh, sirloin in uh, just to kind of clean it up. Sirloin hasn't really been hammering the grass and there hasn't been anything else in there other than rabbits and sirloin. So I figured I'd throw the goats in there for about 24 hours and see how much they can clean up. Uh, all that grass was probably about uh, 8 to 10 inches and it's completely gone this morning. So whenever we do decide to get to, to daily moves, we know they need a bigger size than this for sure. Probably twice the size of this is what we need to be giving them per day uh, just to keep them rotating on fresh grass. Uh, but that's not what we're doing today. We're just going to get them moved. Uh, I got to go set up a temporary fence uh, from the pasture that they're going to our neighbor's property so they can get out and graze. And we're going to be cleaning out the water troughs today. I've got a couple goats that's got a uh, little bit of the runs. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some cord in the water. Go ahead and take care of that. Uh, we've got one of these little young bucks uh, right here. This spotted one. He's kind of got the runs for the past two or three days. And there's several young ones in uh, the doe herd that has it as well. Uh, typically what I do, if about 10% of the herd has the runs, I'm going to go ahead and run them on cord. Uh, nine times out of 10, if you have diarrhea in your herd, it's more likely to be coccidia than it is to be worms. Uh, so like I said, we're just going to go ahead and, and run it in the water. It costs about $10 per water trough. I do the five-day treatment with the liquid or the powder. It doesn't really matter. Uh, both of them work really well. I put eight ounces per 50 gallons. Our, our water tanks are 50-gallon tanks. Uh, so we just put half of a 16-ounce bottle into the water. And they're good to go for about five days. I unhook the float to make sure they drink it down before fresh water is coming in so it doesn't dilute it. Uh, this time I went ahead and bought a gallon. It was like $120. But it was a little cheaper to go ahead and do that if we're going to be using it this fall. Uh, fall is kind of a weird time. Uh, you have the heat, but you have the cool. You have a lot of moisture. Uh, so it's, it's perfect breeding grounds for parasites. Uh, so we need to keep an eye out for for the worm level, uh, but also we're just gonna go ahead and hopefully nip this uh, coccidia in the bud today. Before we go, so before we get to the front, we're gonna top off our mineral. Uh, we've got our mineral feeder that we built. This is kind of like a sled that's got an old conveyor belt on top that the goats can lift up, get inside and get to the mineral. Had a little bit in there yesterday, but they wiped it out and it's time to refill. This is the mineral I use. Uh, Perina cattle min mineral all purpose it works really well it just doesn't have all the copper that the goat mineral has that's the only difference in cattle mineral and and the goat mineral and the price difference is about in half uh, this 50 pound bag is about 30 bucks i'm not even sure what the goat would be i haven't priced it in a long time like i said we're going to put cord in our water i uh, bought this one gallon of cord oral solution uh, we're going to put eight ounces we got a measuring cup in this 50 gallon trough and they'll be good to go for five days it's supposed to last for five days uh, if it goes down we might just mix up some more and uh, make sure they get covered pretty well
first thing we're going to do is go ahead and run our temporary fence. The catch pin is right behind the camera uh, where the goats can go into the pasture behind the camera. Uh, we're going to run a temporary fence, just this little bitty stretch right here, uh, so we can access this gate, open this gate up, and let the goats wander about 25 acres over here uh, that they can kind of browse through. Uh, we just let them out there during the day, put them up at night. It adds a lot of forage for the goats, uh, keeps a little bit of stress off of our pasture as far as the grazing and uh, the worm pressure. Uh, so we like to use it. Grateful to be able to have the opportunity to use it. So I've got my roll of poly wire. Uh, we're just going to hook to our power source over here at this brace post, pull across, get a straight line, and then we're going to put some step in posts. And this little fence is done. The goats will have a lane to go back and forth. So this is our temporary fence running across. If you'll notice, the posts are really close together. I have found out that is a trick for goats. Uh, normally I run three strands. I ran four strands here uh, just to get back to our woven wire fence so I can hook my reel to it, uh, to get it a little bit tight, keep tension on it. Uh, but like I said, I think goats can be trained to this stuff. A lot of people say that it's not possible to keep a goat in uh, with poly wire. Uh, but really, we don't have a big problem with it unless we're pushing them so hard. And this side over here looks really, really good. Uh, normally, it works out. You know, every once in a while, we'll have one go through it. Normally, the little ones is the problem. Uh, the trick is keep close post and keep that fence super, super hot. And it's not really an issue. They don't have any desire to test that anyways. They know what wire, they know what hot wire is. Uh, they're just focused on getting from this pasture right here to over here where all that green stuff is. So they're not going to be pushed too hard. They shouldn't go through it and it should be just fine. It probably would work a little bit better if I got some poly braid. Uh, I do intend on getting some soon. It's just waiting for the right time to make that investment. Uh, for right now, this poly wires is doing the trick for us. Next up is getting our water trough set up. I already washed it out here off camera. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our float in the right spot. I've got a hole through the fence for both sides to access. I need to get some more of these troughs. I've been having to take this one off whenever we move the goats up the road. Screw it in. If I can ever get it started. Set it on. So we're gonna be using the cord. We're gonna go ahead and put it in and let it mix as it tanks filling. This 50 gallon tank only needs eight ounces. Find my ounces. Yeah. Go ahead and put that in there. So while that's oh, so while that's filling up, let's go grab the goats and go ahead and get them up here. First step of moving the animals: secure anything they're gonna get into. Go ahead and cover this feed up. Put something heavy on top. That'll work. All these buckets, they definitely get into that. I might use that to lead them. 
Let me put this back into rabbit food. Get these billy goats and horses out of our way. Let's go. Get out. Everybody out. Let's go. Come on, sis. Go. Come on. Let's go. Get out. Let's go. Out. Out. Everybody out. Hey. Move, goats. Go. Yeah. Hey. 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 Open that. Excuse the mess. Had this panel, just a little extra security for the billy goats. Didn't want to have any accidental breeding. Open. Come on. Woo. Come on. Let's go. And we're off. Come on. They're trying it. There ain't nothing over there. Let's go. Come on. Couple stragglers. Couldn't find the gate. Might as well go get them real quick. There's always one or two that causes a problem. They didn't find the gate. Now the goats are in the bushes. Come on. Rivers, come here. Cut this off so it doesn't dilute too much. They'll drink that down, and depending on how long it takes them, I'll make up another batch if I need to. Uh, this treatment should last five days. Of course, the fattest one of them all is through, first through the gate. Well, they're going to go graze for the rest of the day. Uh, hopefully get their bellies full. They'll come back in about dark and we'll call them up and shut the gate behind them. I got to go do the billy goats water still. I'm not going to record all that. Uh, basically the same thing, fill, cleaning the trough, filling the trough, and putting that cord solution in there. I'm about to have to go get ready to go to the dove field. Uh, today is the opening day of dove season in South Carolina. Uh, so we're going to be cooking some lunch. We actually had a Boston butt on the grill all night. Uh, we're going to be eating some good barbecue and then go shoot some doves, hopefully. Uh, th this video will come out the day after Labor Day, so I want to wish everybody a happy Labor Day. Uh, thank you for everybody that goes out, makes a living. 
to serve their family and make this country great. But I really appreciate you hanging out with us. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, leave us a comment, and we'll see y'all in the next one.